Uh, I'm Chris Ford, uh, Commissioner of Social Services, and it's my privilege and honor to welcome everyone this morning to the Family Care Center for a very special occasion. We're very excited to see the great turnout that we have, and I think that illustrates and demonstrates for us how special a place that the Family Care Center is. This morning, you guys will uh, hear a lot of what has brought us here over 30 years, but we also hope that this morning will allow an opportunity to introduce our services and programs for those in our community who have not just yet been able to be introduced to what we do at the Family Care Center. This is such a special day in such a very special place. The Family Care Center, 30 years old and still going strong, still a trailblazer. The Family Care Center changes the lives of parents and young children. It's a comprehensive approach that teaches new parents everything from how to soothe the crying infant, that's a trick, right? How to do that, to how to achieve a high school diploma and how to become independent. I want to first congratulate Joanna Rhodes, the center director, and I want to mention the names of the center's leadership team. Irma Bennett, Karen Hacker, Vanna Armstrong, and Elena Howard. I also want to thank our partners, the University of Kentucky, Fayette County Public Schools, and numerous other partners who play a role in our city's service delivery, benefiting such an important population our youngest children. Uh, as director, I'm so grateful to be standing here today and working in a place I know has offered so much to families over 30 years. Our center's mission is to partner with and empower families with young children to achieve greater stability and resilience. We do this through offering five core services which are just as relevant today as they were in the early years a high school program for teen parents, quality early child care, intensive case management, hands home visitation, and finally, pediatric health care. Our primary model of service delivery offers us the opportunity to get to know our families quite well. And I found myself inspired by the strength of them as many work to overcome enormous challenges Challenges, unfortunately, that include things like poverty, trauma, domestic violence, addiction, and even homelessness. But I find that those families are so motivated by their love for children, and it inspires us here every day. We hope for many, many more years of success as we help families work to build a life they envision as best for themselves and their children. Thank you so much. What is most extraordinary to me you go back 30 years ago, 1989, and you think about the vision, the vision of a family care center. I would submit to you that that vision was ahead of its time in 1989, and present day, that vision is still ahead of its time. Why is that? Well, look at the research. We know when you have teenage unwed mothers, the educational attainment level of the children does not exceed the educational attainment level of the mother. So if our mother, teenage mothers, do not have a place to go to get an education, to get a diploma, to move towards self-sufficiency, what does that mean for the child? It's that cycle of poverty. And the vision going back 30 years ago understood that, right? We used to have an old accountability system. Some of you may know the acronym NCLB. I'll tell you what that meant. No child left behind. But the family care vision is much bolder and stronger than that. It's no family is left behind. And sometimes the name says it all. Family Care Center. We care about the family. 28 days before my daughter was born, our life was turned upside down, and her dad passed away. And it was from addiction, and it's a really big problem. 
and people don't realize how it affects families every day. And at that point, I decided to join the HANDS program so that I had extra support. And our counselor, Megan, was amazing. Um, I started the program before Luna was actually born. Um, I actually had decided to start like a month before her dad had passed away, so I was actually already in the program. And then when all that happened, it just, it was, it was a really nice support structure to have somebody that's not part of your family, but in the community that can help you. And they really opened our eyes to so many different programs that were available to us. There's no place I'd rather be than at the FCC, where they care about you, and they care about me. No matter where you go, you will always know. At the FCC. Yeah. Yeah. At the FCC.